Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing a super important question from the module 2 which is work 10 marks and uh, this has to be doing uh, with some architecture. So let's have a look at what it is and what are its function, key points and everything. Uh, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And without wasting any time, let's get started. The question is regarding uh, an architecture which you need to uh, make and uh, tell what are its features and what are its uh, functions. So explain VLIW architecture. What is VLIW? Very long instruction word. Okay. VLIW is very long instruction word machines that has the range from 256 to 1024 bytes uh, bits and it provides the control uh, for using them okay and uh, by using this architecture you will be able to do the parallel uh, processing that's the second key point and these are uh, mostly micro program control units with relatively slow clock rates it is not as fast as the other architectures but it is very slow why because there is a long length okay that's the third key point you have to write and the rom holds the um, microcode okay read only memory in the ram you can't store this much big you have to use the rom to uh, hold the microcode of that okay and each instruction word carries multiple short instructions it's not like just one single long instruction each of the instruction essentially carries small small instructions in that that's the way how it is stored that's the fourth key point and the fifth key point are it is effectively using uh, issued at the same time all the instructions of the short are issued at the same time that's the fifth key point you have to write and after that we have the compilers for VLIW architectures should optimally try to predict the branch outcomes uh, to properly group the instructions here you will be having the group instructions to be uh, in a single place so you'll be using the compilers for that and uh, finally you have to write about the pipelining as well what is pipelining multiple processes should do the task parallelly okay that is called as uh, pipelining and uh, in VLIW we are comparing and contrasting it with the um, superscalers okay in decoding uh, matters VLIW is easier than superscalers that's a sixth key point because each region of the instruction is usually limited to any type of instruction that it can contain okay VLIW is very versatile it can contain any type of instruction in that so it is very easier to code uh, in that and after that uh, we have the density in VLW as less why because there is a large space but short short codes are there so obviously the density will be less in VLW than in superscalers because in each region of VLW a word isn't needed in a particular instruction but VLW should be present okay if VLW is present it uh, will be filled with no OPs no operations okay uh, that is compulsory for VLW uh, but in superscalers whenever we have a word then only it is necessary okay and and the final uh, point which is the uh, eighth point you have to write is superscalars are compatible with scalar processors. Scalar processors are compatible with superscalars and for the VLIW instead of using the um, regular parallelism what we will be using is the random parallelism. These are the eight key points you have to write for expecting full marks in that there is no architecture here just you have to explain the theory concepts. So that's all make sure you hit the like button subscribe to help for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one.